Hello, welcome to day number 11 of the Aquarian Shift Meditations. I uh, am coming to you via recording today. I apologize for not being able to be with you live today. I do want to report that my father is fine. He checked out fine at the emergency room and we are back home. I fixed him some lunch and he's resting. And uh, so I offer you this recording. I invite your spirits. I call on your spirit to join in this virtual circle. Whenever you happen to be present for this recording, I invite you into this circle and let's all come together sitting side by side, shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, knee to knee, knee coming together as one. And in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate, we call on our source. We ask you to send your essence of your pure divine light. And just imagine, feel this pure divine light streaming into the center of our circle. And let's just bring, bring all of your, your, your focus, your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth, the pores of your skin, your throat center, your heart center, your belly, your hips, all of your being to face toward the center of our circle, to be present in this community of one as we move into this day. It's a very beautiful day and a very special day. And feel this light. I invite you to receive this pure divine light into your pores and into all of your sensory organs, your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth. Let it be taken into your body through all of your perceptors. And just transmitted it into your brain through your cranial nerves, into your brain and central nervous system, and absorb it in through the pores of your skin, taking it all the way into the core of your body. Today, in, yesterday, we uh, worked with the divine name, the divine attribute of Ba'ith, which was the awakener. We went through that portal of the Aquarian gateway into the realm of consciousness, the fifth dimension, the pure consciousness, which extends beyond this limited time and space reality, the fourth dimensional reality that we're in, into the dimension beyond. And we went into with the day before yesterday with a wall through that portal. And then yesterday, ba opening, opening, opening to that light and awakening, awakening the consciousness within that has been programmed and wired for this fifth dimensional consciousness, for, the, for, the, for that realm, for that reality. We awakened that within us. Today, we're going to call in the divine name of Hamid, Hamid, which Hamid means traditionally the praiseworthy that which is praiseworthy. It is that which when we see it and we experience it and we are present with it is praiseworthy. It's awe-inspiring. And it is, it is that which just our hearts bow in reverence and our beings melt into a pool of gratitude. Right? And it's the, it's the gratitude for the whole. Right, in, the, in the divine attributes, there are two names for gratitude. And sometimes we think of gratitude as that, all right, I'm going to make a list of all the things I'm grateful for. And I'm going to, you know, turn my heart into gratitude for these things to help me to get used to this practice of gratitude, right? And that's a shakur in the divine names. This is al hamid, hamid. And hamid is the gratitude and awe and praise and reverence for the majesty and the magnificence of the divine essence, essence, the presence of the divine. So this is where we're going to sit today. So I'll take us through a little intro to get us through the steps that we've gone through, through the being the ocean of the living consciousness, the portal through which the living consciousness flows, hanging out at that doorway and opening that doorway to receive the template, first the big picture conceptual template of the information, right, the, of the era that we're moving into, 
the era of peace and unconditional love, and then to receive that into its first the big picture, and then as it divides into its segments and pieces and the attributes and qualities about them and their relationship and flow with each other. And then as those pieces begin to take form and shape, and then as the knowledge and the knowing of them integrates into the cellular consciousness, manifests from within us, and we become manifest, a manifestation of this essence. And then after that was weaving into the soul, body and soul, right? And then moving in this integrated state through that portal and then awakening to the light within this fifth dimensional reality. And today is bowing down in awe, gratitude, reverence, praise. Okay. Now, yesterday, if you remember, Al-Ba'ith, one of the elements of Ba'ith is to recognize the divine essence within you. That it's like we talked about shedding the old cells, the, you know, every day, your body, there are cells that die off within your body and new cells that are generated. So what we talked about yesterday with Ba'ith, as we're awakening, we allow the old cells to die and the new cells that are regenerated are regenerated with this new DNA sequencing that with this templating and this awareness of the new reality and the specifically the element within your cup we all as human beings have the meanings of the all of the divine attributes like that meaning is contained within the life force that is breathed into our physical forms that give consciousness into our material existence into our bodies so you are spirit within body. Your spirit breathed into your physical body to give life force and consciousness into your physical body. The essence of that spirit contains the meaning of all of the divine attributes, right? The essence of spirit is like Kalik, the big picture concept. The, the, all of the divine attributes contained within it is like the Bari, right? And that's the, the, uh, all the knowing of the divine attributes and the relationship and the flow between them. All of that is contained within you that comes into form, starts to take shape within you in a unique way, a unique way that is going to express these attributes in a unique form as source wants to express itself through your existence, because you are an expression of source within your being, and you're going to express some attributes more than others. And so there's going to be a unique expression of source that lives through you and expresses through you, right? And that's the, like the Musa where, and then coming into your physical existence to live through this manifestation in this world is the, the Zahir, right? coming into crystallize within your cellular consciousness and live in this physical body. And then that botan, botan is weaving the hidden, right? The, the invisible, your soul into this physical, spiritual nature, right? The spirit, spirit being in physical body is inter, interwoven into this soul, right? Or the soul is interwoven into the spiritual body. And so that is your, uh, uh, creation. That is your essence. That is your element here, right? And it expresses who you are. Now, when we, we uh, bring in this Hamid, there is an acknowledgement and recognition of, you know, everything on the inner is a reflection of the outer. Everything on the outer is a reflection on the inner. You are not a drop in the ocean. You are the ocean in a drop. That's a Rumi poem, Rumi quote. And just as we talked about your form, these forms that we think we are, are open cups floating in an ocean of living consciousness. They're open cups floating in an ocean of living consciousness. The, the ocean of living consciousness, it's like it's flowing through you all the time. It's flowing through you all the time in your being that 
what contained, what is contained within your cup is the existence of the ocean. And there is elements of that ocean that are expressed uniquely from within your cup. But as Rumi says, be the ocean, be the ocean and don't be the cup with the dry rim. Allow yourself to float and to sink into this ocean and be the ocean, All right? We think we are the cups. Let's shift our consciousness and be the ocean. So let's move forward with that. Oh, and and the, the one thing I want to say about that as we're moving forward with it is within your own being, just as in Ba'ith, we talked about the unique expression of this ocean, of the living consciousness, of the breath of your source, breathing and existing through you and, and expressing through your cup and living through your cup, is there is a unique expression of you. And so as you move into this, that old that was attached to the material and the needs and the attachments of the, uh, of the uh, realms that are dependent in the time and space and based in ego are dying away and the divine expression of you is awakening and being regenerated. So the fullness of you becomes this. This is, as, as this is happening, just part of the Hamid, Hamid that we're bringing in today is recognizing that this part within you, this essence within you, there is a praiseworthy essence within you, the expression of your source that is unique within you and moving through you and living through you and expressing through you is also praiseworthy. So as we acknowledge that and just give gratitude and reverence for that within you, this is, this is bringing forth the praiseworthy, unique expression of your source within you. So it is the bowing in reverence for everything on the outside as well as on the inner recognizing recognizing that it is from your source it is of your source and it is for you my teacher used to say this life is from you i mean sorry this yes this life is through you it is from you and it is for you but it is not about you so this is from your source moving through you, and it is for you, but it is not about you, right? It's not about you. It is about the source that moves through you and lives through you and expresses through you. So we give reverence and gratitude and acknowledgement for where this comes from and what it's about. And honestly, when you can let yourself just be in the awe of that, in the awe of the majesty and the miracle of this existence, it is a beautiful, incredible experience that really, you know, it, it, it's, it's a, a, an experience of surrender, surrendering the ego self, surrendering our own, you know, making everything about us, which as human beings in our ego states, we tend to do. It, it, we tend to want to make everything about us, whether or not we're good enough, whether or not we have done enough, whether or not we're, you know, we're great or right or worthy or all of these things. And all of this falls away when we just bow our hearts in reverence to the, the majesty of our source and the miracle of this life and this existence. Okay, so in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate, we call on that essence of pure divine light. And we call on that essence of unconditional love and just feel this unconditional love. Breathe it in through your heart center. Let your heart center be that funnel and tip up and receive that stream of unconditional love streaming into the center of your heart. Allow it to stream into the center of your heart. And breathe it in. Breathe it in through your heart center. And let it just fill all the way into the core of your being. 
Let it fill you. Let it stream into your heart and fill you. And as you exhale, just let it clear your heart center. Open and release your heart of the tension. Breathing it again, that divine light and unconditional love through your heart. Let it drop all the way through your heart center. Flow all the way through, through your heart and into that center where your heart energy center flows all the way through your body and meets with that vertical core of life force energy that runs through the top of your head, all the way along the front of your, your, of your spine, down the core of your body, the center of your body, and all the way through your base. So let your heart just be opened and let that life force, that, that divine light, this is your life force energy and that divine light and unconditional love flow through your heart and let your conscious body lean back into that center, that core, lean back into that. It's like you're standing under a gentle waterfall and you're receiving into your heart the divine light and unconditional love. And let's call on the divine name of Rahman, Rahman. Rahman is the ocean of eternal compassion, the cosmic womb of our creation, the soup we swim in, the womb that contains us and holds us and nurtures us with love and compassion and acceptance and mercy and all of the sustenance that we need. Rahman. As we call on Rahman, Allow yourself to float in this ocean of living consciousness to be the cup that floats and sinks in this ocean, the cup that exists within the ocean and fills with the ocean and floats and sinks to be the ocean and bring your consciousness from the cup, your focus, bring your focus from the cup to the living consciousness that exists within the cup and flows through the cup. Allow yourself to float into the ocean of living consciousness. Rahman, Rahman, the eternal compassion, the ocean of eternal compassion. That is Rah, the radiant light, the breath of spirit, the, mm, the fluid existence and the mm, manifestation or soul so this is light through the breath coming into the fluid existence and into manifestation the function of the womb the birth process and that is our first emanation from god consciousness that which holds us and contains us and supports all of the existence the cosmic womb of our existence and then we call in the divine name of Rahim, Rahim, which is the compassion and the mercy that flows to each individual, individual person, individual animal, individual plant, and individual everything, individual element of creation to the water, to the clouds, to the mountains, to the rocks, to the soil, to everything Rahim. But this is what flows to the individual available. And this is what fills your cup, right? This is what flows into your cup from the ocean, specifically for you, for you as an individuated element of creation. Rahim, that compassion, that mercy, that love. Rahim. And then we drop into the heart center. Breathe yourself in, breathe your consciousness in through your heart center, dropping down and down and down and down and down until you land on that point where that funnel meets that vertical core, right? Where your individual heart expression meets in with that vertical core, that connection with the all that is. And let your consciousness float down into that center to float down right to that door sill. And we call 
from here on the divine name of Mu Kabir, Mutakabir, which is the greatest, and it is the recognition and acknowledgement of the that which is the greatest. The greatest is that divine that flows through, that is the unified being and the unity of all beings. So it is the unified and the unity of all, and that is the greatest, right? And that is right there at that door sill between the one with all that is and the individuation, right? That contains the one. So is there, it's the many that contains the one and the one with all that is. And there is that door sill right between the two worlds. That's where you can hang out right there at the center of your heart and breathe that mutakabir through that doorway, letting it open that doorway, letting it clean and clear that doorway, letting that doorway be a place of ease and flow, releasing the attachments to the ego self, the attachments to the material realm and all of the things that we think are a part of our existence and a part of our survival within the material realm that are really a part of an illusion. So we'll just let that fall away from that door sill and let that door sill open and just be a witness hanging out on that space with mood as the mu is the in, that embodiment of the fluid existence, the, t, the mystery within it, and the kab, the creation coming to that focal point. The book is that focal point, and the beer from the focal point into the radiant light. Mutakabir. So let that, oh, that whole process just wash that place right there at that door sill between the worlds, right in that door sill between the worlds as you stand and hang out and float in that space and watch that flow move back and forth. Right. And then from this place, right, you are the ocean of living consciousness. You are the portal through which the living consciousness flows into your cup, right? So hanging out right at that portal. We use this hand position, making the hands like an antenna with the thumbs pointing into the heart and the fingers like coming together like an antenna. We point toward that opening of the Aquarian gateway and we receive the template of the transmission of the new information, the information that is templating your being with this, everything that you need to Know, and not just mentally, but exist within your conscious template, your programming of your consciousness to live within this fifth dimensional reality, the reality, reality of consciousness that is not dependent and attached to the time and space realm. So receive, this is the big picture conceptual, what does that mean? You don't have to know it with your mind. Invite your mind to be a witness to what moves within you, what is transmitted into your cellular consciousness, into the template of your higher knowledge. The template of your higher knowledge. Let this template come in, giving you big picture conceptual information that is holic. Holic, holic. Breathe that in and let it fill your energy body and your field and your mental body as well. And your consciousness, your conscious, your knowledge of your within your consciousness. And then our bari, bari is like coming through that focal point into the radiant light. This is where that conceptual big picture starts to divide into its pieces. And each of the pieces has its unique attributes and has its relationship and flow and harmony between them, right? We will have, a, we have a lot of things within the realm, the 3D material, 3D, 4D material realm that... 
is very limited, very limited, and it's been based in a reality that cannot exist in the realm of unconditional love and eternal compassion and peace, world peace. And so all of this is being rewritten and restructured. So let it come into its individual pieces and how it will harmonize and flow together is going to be very different. And it is very different. So let's just let it be of the past and be in the new. It is very different now. And al musawir, musawir. We saw we're embodying the forms and the forms through the light, right? Really expressing the light and being the light. It's coming into shape and form. Everything is taking shape and form within you, within your consciousness. And you, as a conscious being of this creation, are being shaped and formed to exist within this new reality, in this state that will harmonize and flow within this realm of the fifth dimensional consciousness okay so be be that be that that's the musa weir and then was the zahir 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 is that that which is apparent which is manifest right through the breath coming into light zahir Za here and the za here becoming manifest into physical, this is crystallizing into your cellular consciousness, into your body, so that you are being, you are not, you are the being of this new existence, this new expression, this new template. You are a being of this new creation, a created being carrying the template of this new expression, Zahir, be. So let it be with crystallized within your physical structure, within your cellular consciousness. And then Batin. Batin is now bringing in the mystery through the soul, right? Into the soul. And this is interweaving body and soul with this new template and this new consciousness, right? So let this be woven, Zahir, Batin, interweaving between body and soul, Zahir, Batin. Your body gets an upgrade, your soul gets an upgrade, Zahir, Batin. So your spiritual being in this body now integrated with this soul presence, right? Breath of spirit, embodied, integrated with this soul, all coming together, interweaving with this knowledge of this, this new information, this new template of this existence of unconditional love and peace. Zahir Bhat. Zahir Bhat. Breathe that in all the way into the core, all the way to the very center of your physical body. Breathe it in, breathe it in, breathe it in, and let it come all the way through, through all of your field, through all of your cells, through all of your tissues, into that very core of your body. Breathe it in with a deep breath. And as you exhale, let yourself drop down and land into your hips and feel your presence in your lower Dantian point, that center of gravity point behind and just beneath your belly button and behind and let it land all the way into the center of your uh, abdominal, lower abdominal cavity space, right? The center behind your Dantian point halfway front to back in your body, halfway side to side in your hips, right in the center of that round pelvic bowl space, right in the center point. So breathe all of this into the very core center channel of your body and exhale and drop down, ground into that pelvic bowl space and 
feel your presence and power right in that center point, right? That's the, where the weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Let yourself be like, that's your I am center, your I am center. Let yourself be, be, be right there. And now from here, again, we are now moving through that portal, through that gateway, not through the portal, but through the gateway of the Aquarian gate, gateway into the new dimension, right? Into the fifth dimension that's available. So we are now in this state of being. We call in the divine name of Allah. Oh, wall, oh, wall. And we move through this portal, through and just let yourself, just call on your source directly. Call on your source and ask for the help from the angels, from the guides, from all who are here to help and support you. And uh, let yourself, just imagine putting your hands into the hands of your source, letting the angels support you and carry your, as you move your entire being, integrated body and soul being, moves through this portal into this realm of the fifth dimensional consciousness, releasing your attachments to the time and space realm. You can still be places on time and do things within the scope of sequence and all of this kind of thing, but your attachments are following away and you become consciousness. And this is a place where, you know, where actually we, we need to be very mindful of our thoughts and those things that we sometimes say that we are just, you know, learned rote patterns that we repeat. I've had two things happen in the last couple of weeks that I said, oh, you know, just things that I remembered from past. And even today with my father, I was speaking to someone Thursday night and was, you know, she was talking about um, as being a caregiver and the challenges of it. And I said, yeah, you know, it, 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 I'll be surprised if I get through this 21 days without something. And this was just Thursday night. And then today we had, you know, my father had an incident this morning and I had to take him to the emergency room. I thought, well, it's, it's amazing how I'm noticing how quickly I can say something and then it just happens, right? Because when you're in that realm of consciousness, your, you are your consciousness, where you put your consciousness is where you are. What you think can come into manifestation pretty quickly. So this is a, an, an opportunity to release those negative thoughts and to really bring in the positive thoughts. And this is why from all wall, right? We come into this realm of consciousness. We go into ba ith, which is awakening, awakening through this focal point away from the old and regenerating the new. So we're regenerating our bodies and our beings and everything into this existence with this light and this new, new dimension and being, being a new creation that is specifically wired and templated to exist within this realm of consciousness, the fifth dimensional consciousness. So let yourself be let yourself be here, be here and awaken. Let your consciousness be awakened to this realm and let everything else that doesn't fit here and doesn't belong here, let it fall away. Let it fall away. So ba eighth is that awakening and letting everything else go. Awakening to the new, letting everything else go. Let it die off like the cells of the body that are done with you know done with their their lifetime let them fall away and let your entire being as the new cells are generated let everything be generated into this new template into this new light into this new realm of consciousness okay and then today we bring in hamid hamid and that's spelled h a M as in Mary, I, D as in David, Hamid. That's right, breath of spirit, mm, fluid existence, 
id, which is that reflection of the life energy, right? A reflection of the life energy. The traditional translation of this name is the praiseworthy, that which is praiseworthy. And it's like, it's a form of gratitude that is not just the specific I am grateful for list to just get your heart into the mood of being grateful, but this is an awe-inspired Wow, you know, awe is like awesome, the awesomeness of the majesty of and the miracles of the existence. This is when you are present with that light and it is a wow, awe experience. So let your entire being, as you awaken to this light, just be in the awe of it. Be in the awe of it and receive it and let your heart and your soul and every cell of your body just be awestruck be awestruck by this presence and this essence and this 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 realm of unconditional love and compassion and peace be in awe be in awe and just let your whole being melt into this pool of gratitude and feel the gratitude for it and allow yourself to just be consumed in the awe, in the majesty, in the love, in that, that just amazement of the existence, of the divine existence. And the divine essence within the existence. So let yourself be there. I'll call on the divine name Hamid. Let's take a minute and play with the sound codes first. Up. So, you know, be in that intention of the praiseworthy and the awe and the reverence and the melting into the pool of gratitude. Just be in that intention and we'll call on. And again, that H sound is the breath of spirit. You can make it in an external way and also in an internal way where that is made like into the, the back of the cave of your mouth and falls down your throat and through that vertical core of your body. Or the And let the vibrations of that sound ripple through the fluid existence of your body, through the fluids. Let it ripple. Let it ripple through the ocean within your cup and ripple through your cup and through the ocean that contains your cup. Um, and let your body have movement, sound, breath. Remember to be the cup. Be the cup within the ocean. And to be the ocean within the cup. And to be the ocean as your cup floats and sinks and swims through the ocean. And then the mm, which is the fluid existence, the fluid. So let yourself be the fluid existence, the breath of source within the fluid existence. Mm. Mm. 
And as you hum that M sound, let that vibration, feel that vibration rippling within your fluid of your body, within your interstitium and the fluid that is contained within your veins, within your blood, within your organs, within your tissues, and all of that fluid within your skin that contains your body. Let it ripple through so this vibration and the essence that is, is called forth by this vibration, the energy that is generated that calls forth that essence is like rippling through the consciousness of your entire being. Mm. And then finally, the end. End. And the end is that reflection of the divine life energy. This is breath of spirit in the fluid existence reflecting the divine life energy. And feel the reverence for that. The entire existence and also as the existence, the essence of the divine exists within you and lives within you and through you and expresses itself within you and through you. You are the ocean in a drop. Hum. Beat. Hum. can take more time to be with this until you can recognize and acknowledge the existence of the divine essence within you and outside of you. As my teacher used to say, until there is no inside and no outside, but only one, only one. You are not the cup, you are the ocean. Too near to see, though we swim in it and drink it in. Be the ocean. Be the ocean. Be the ocean. And again, remember to breathe it in and land down into your hips fully present in your body and grounded, be the ocean. Be the ocean. Feet on the earth, be the ocean. All right. That concludes our meditation for today. I thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, Sunday. Hopefully, we'll be together live. Thank you.